greetings to all of our brothers and sisters in internet free land. November 21st, 2020. No doubt about it, we are in each other's company once again. And yes, this is the highlight, one of the many highlights of my day. One of the other highlights of is having a great family, is having an incredible wife that understands me, and having a fight to wake up every single morning to get out and get after. Welcome everybody just here and uh, excited to have you guys here today. You know, these daily podcasts, you know, it's almost therapeutic to me. As I think about it, you know, um, sometimes when you go out and you work out and there's this stress reliever that you need. And uh, and I always tell my wife many times is I don't really stress over things, but she probably thinks I do. But it's all good. That's debatable. But, you know, I was thinking about the gullibility of us American citizens nowadays. You know, I, I want to kind of form a narrative for you guys to understand the severity and the magnitude of the stupidity that's peppering the streets. Kind of like that biscuits and gravy, you know, put a little salt and pepper on there. And you, you see visibly the pepper on your food. You know that pepper is going to add a little bit of spice, right? But we have a little bit of idiotocracy in the streets and gullibility and I want to ask the question today just how gullible do these damn fools in power think you are now okay let's form this here real quick hold on let me continue to mold the clay so we can have a clear understanding right even for those who decide to want to be mental patients. They have the the, the vest, the white vest, and the, there's little latches on the front. And for some reason, they can't swing their arms like they're having a conniption fit. But I do digress. But the gullibility that, uh, that people think that the American people have is what they're doing every single day. And I was looking at uh, one of the president's attorneys and she was rightfully so scolding tearing apart absolutely just obliterating the the media because of the narratives that they put out there the philosophies that they hold the the rhetoric that they speak and you know, they might say I have a certain level of rhetoric that's fine and dandy. Everyone needs a certain level of rhetoric that's fine and dandy. But today, they're preying on a weak, uh, feeble. I'm not talking about Joe Biden. But they're preying on a weak and feeble mentality of millions of Americans that one. If they truly understood the Constitution and why it was here, the Constitution is not restrictions and regulations. The Constitution is actually a vehicle for us to maintain and keep our freedoms. Some might agree, some might disagree. The ones that agree, hey, we're tracking, we're moving somewhere else. The ones that disagree, we have to continue to work on those. But as the lies are being spewed, it's amazing how those who are in power and have the media, multi-media complex at their disposal, they have the mediums of technology and big tech at their disposal. We are being bombarded with billions of Megabits of data, billions of bits of information, billions and trillions of um, 
forms of information traveling through Ethernet cables via the Internet. And I never thought I'd see a time to where information, actually the thing that is created, is battling with the creator. Now, if you kind of think about that, that's kind of like us and God, right? We're battling with the creator about what I want to do. And this is my way. And I want to go this path. And you can't stop me. I want to do this with my body. That is the argument. But how can you argue with the one who molds the clay? The one who shapes and fashions you? But they do. But let that go. Let's go back to the media and the the information complex. Let's just call it an information corporation that's built via the government and world war uh, world order type entities that are behind the scenes. Isn't it a scary thing for you ladies and gentlemen to understand and really come to grips with that the world that you're living in right now, the US of A is being influenced by outside parties outside forces you will never know their name you will never see their face you will never know their philosophy only thing you will know is someone is attempting to control you and and you should have a problem with that so I talk about the gullibility of Americans we have millions of people come out a few weeks ago and they voted for a particular candidate. But when you have an anomaly and not just one, two, three, four, but five different states, you have irregularities in one, two, three, four, five different states and you have the same damn media telling you that there is nothing to see here. There is a winner, focus on the target but you're looking at the broken pieces of the glass that's been broken out your deli window and you understanding what the hell's going on. You have a brick in your hand that says Black Lives Matter. And because you did not succumb to the narrative, they did damage to your business and your franchise. So you see the pieces on the ground and you're saying, what the hell's going on here? But everyone's saying, let's move along, let's certify, let's move forward. No, 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 no. Not so fast. They're preying on your gullibility from the past. They're preying on you being used to accepting what they say is gold. They're preying on you being able to say, you know what? That's just what politicians do. And yet nothing changes in your community. Nothing changes in your city. Nothing changes in your county. Nothing changes in your state. Nothing changes in your U.S. of A. But corruption. And so I say Donald Trump, let's say his name, is the victim in all of this. And the information war that thinks you are gullible or stupid or inept or naive. 75 million people aren't that stupid. That's like the tossing of a coin. How many dumb people are in this coin? As you flip them, one, two, then you flip 20 as intelligent people. You flip 30 as people that are highly intelligent. You flip 40 and there's more. But from what I've seen in my life, anyone that's exercising stupidity, it's always been the side of the left. There's some people dumb on the right side, too. So I'm not trying to give them a pass either. But one thing we better realize, this information age and this war on how you should think is coming for you. And all barrels are loaded. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to take the incoming and lay down like a punk? Or you're going to rise up like the Americans bleeding red, white, and blue and say, we're not that stupid. And we know something went on. And the strong possibility is the true president that's supposed to lead this country for the next four years. He's already in the White House. Those are my thoughts. 
Until next time, don't be gullible.